Okay, drivers, are you ready for oral fluid DOT drug testing? Yeah, oral fluids for DOT drug testing. I haven't heard this idea floated before. It may have been that I'm out there in the public, but it wasn't talked about much. And if I heard about it, I forgot. But we all know as drivers, the way they do the normal DOT drug testing is urinalysis, right? You get one pre-employment, you get and get a random throughout the years, whatever. You get one after an accident or incident, they, they pop you for that. But it's always been the urinalysis. You go into the restroom, pee in the cup, take it out. Of course, they make you take everything out of your pockets and all that, but I'm guessing some people still find a way around it for the urinalysis test. And that's one of the big reasons that they wanted to do this is they said it'll cut down on cheating. They said that the person administering the test will be standing right in front of you, and I don't know if it's spit in a cup or if they swab your cheek like they do on DNA testing. I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but they say it'll reduce the privacy issues and cut out on cheating on these drug tests. Now everybody's heard, I think, about hair follicle testing. And I thought that some companies were actually using it, but from what I read, they can't actually use it for discipline right now because even though it was mandated by Congress, I think in 2015, the HHS, Health and Human Services uh, Department, has not proposed the final rule to be able to use hair follicle testing. So until that happens, you know, they they're not supposed to be able to use it. At least that's what I understood from the articles that I have read. Urinalysis and oral fluid testing is in. As of May 1st, the final rule was published for the oral fluids testing. Now, the only uh, delay on that would be that HHS has to find at least two laboratories in the country to certify to be able to give these tests. Now, how long is that gonna take? Is it something they just pick a couple and you know pencil whip it to where they're, you're certified to, to do these tests? Or is it gonna take a while for them to actually go through the procedure of finding good laboratories I don't know. It could be with the government, you never know. It's something they might just whip up or maybe something they take their time on, but it's coming. Now, they also said, from what I understand, that this oral fluids testing is at the option of the driver, but I'm not sure that's right. Uh, you know, don't quote me either way on it. I'm not sure that's right because they said that the main reason they want to do this is to cut down on the cheating. Well, if you make it up to the driver, Someone who's cheating is always going to pick the urinalysis, right? Because it's easier to cheat, I guess. When this oral fluid testing is not going to be easy to cheat, I don't think. They say it's at the option of the, of the driver, but I think it's going to have to be at the option of the carrier or the place you're going to get your, your drug test done at. Now, OIDA had some concerns about this, this thing that they're going to do. Now, originally, they said they're worried about people getting their DNA collected because it's, you know, oral. Now, I'm guessing or I'm thinking that urinalysis you can't get DNA from. I don't know what the difference is. I'm, I'm sure there's some scientific reason. But with oral in your mouth, they can, and they were worried about that. But from what I understand from the articles that I read, that it's against federal law for them to collect DNA samples for any DOT procedure. So DOT physical, blood work, drug tests, they're not supposed to be able to legally collect your DNA. Now the other thing that OIDA was concerned about is the way they do these tests. They were concerned about the difference, like on a roadside inspection, they may just have a test kit that they do and get the results from right away where they would rather it be a laboratory test where you collect the specimen, send it off to the laboratory and let them do it. I guess there's more of a, of a false positive or negative rate with those roadside tests to where they just whip it up real quick and get a quick test result. So I don't know. Tell me what you think about oral fluid drug testing coming to a, 
a carrier near you. Now, when we do ours, when they pull us in ours, they don't send us away to urgent care place anymore. They actually have a, a lady or whoever come to our office, set up a little desk, you know, in one of the cubicles and has all the paperwork, who she needs to do, and we use the restroom right there at the terminal. So that makes it a little more convenient. It's not as a pain in the butt to go down to Concentra or somewhere and wait and wait and get that done and then have to come back to the company because they usually get you for work. And if you don't know about it, which you're not supposed to, that could delay your you getting out on time or getting out for an hour or something like that. But that's how we do it. Tell me how you guys do it. Tell me what you think about the oral fluid drug testing. I guess I don't care as long as they're not getting my DNA. I don't want anybody to have that. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Stick around. Watch some more of my videos. I'll put some up here. If you subscribed, I really appreciate that. And if you have not, please consider subscribing and watching more of my stuff. We'll see you later.